How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. That sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Orlay needs in this crisis. You support the civil war? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. I don't suppose you'd like to dance, Lady Cassandra. Now? This is hardly the time. We're here to find a killer, not dance. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. That's useful.
I heard the Inquisition was here. You're too gullible. Maximilian swept me at my feet. Another time, perhaps? Smart, Commander. You're so handsome, please. Look at Lady Cambian's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps? This is Halam Shiral, Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the Great Game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, the small talk, it is a dance. And like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. There's a Tavinter assassin on the loose, and you're concerned about buckles on shoes. Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? Have you seen anything interesting? Oh, yes. Halam Shiral is lousy with scandals and scheming. But no sign of our Tevinter infiltrator, I'm afraid. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. You must dance with me, Commander. You cannot stand about with you, Nick. Did you just grab my bottle? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I didn't expect the Inquisitor to be so delightful. No, thank you. What is Lady Pentecost wearing? Lord. 
Lord Inquisitor. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, my lady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Selene knows that. Oh, at least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. A oh, shame. They are so pleasantly decorative. Good evening, my lady. Quickly! We can't leave the Delances this long without drinks. Should look around. The one of the garden, statuette. was here. You're too good. Well, that's useful. Yes, Paris. My lord! My lord Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. It's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. 
As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, are you enjoying the ball? This is your first presentation at court, is it not? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. What exactly does a court historian do? I am responsible for the historical records of the court. I maintain our library and record all official proceedings. Are you here to chronicle the events of the evening for posterity? Oh, yes! This is a momentous occasion. The first meeting between the Grand Duke and Her Majesty since the war began. Even if, make her forbid, the talks should fail, it is an important moment in the history of the Empire. Good evening, Lady Marcelette. Another time, perhaps. You don't want to be here, stranger. He went into the servants' wing. Nobody's come out of there all night. I'll tell Briella we have a situation. Interesting. Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. What backwater did you come from? Everyone knows that. Get these pastries out to Gaspar the diplomat. The Duchess has asked for two men. I can't carry them all. Germain bore his nephew's spite better than the rest of the council. Did you see that panic? She roaming him. Well, well. What's this? As a guest of my nephew, no less. How curious. Have you noticed anything? My niece, Florian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He, he was. What else should he do with his life if not fight? What can you t If you. It's war. It is. Br Another. Must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. 
If they're playing... You must be mistaken. No. I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet upper state. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Waste of time. Did you need something? Did I hear correctly? If you're interested in bringing the Templars to heal, you may have found an ally. Didn't you recruit them for the rack? Someone had to remind them. A sensible. I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I Gentlemen. We will be in touch, Inquisitor.
should get back to the boar. Fashionably late now. Well, well, what have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith, delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share, considering recent events. Recent events? Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinta. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinta's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. Would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now. Not ever. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. 
The ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting.
And then real stabbing. Lungs full, frothing, scent of apples as it all goes black. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This man was a council of Herald's emissary. Curious to find him here. The crest of the Chalon family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs>
Fancy meeting you here. So, you're Inquisitor Trevelyan. I'm surprised they got you sobered up and dressed for this party. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? It's the game, my dear. Everyone plays it here. Hold the area. Head back to the ballroom. We'll handle this. Leave us. Interesting. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I 
told you, Philip. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. I should look around. Are we ready to move out? Have you witnessed an... Nothing yet. I will let you know. Stay alert. We don't know where the... I'll be... Inquisitor Trevelyan, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? It doesn't matter where you're from, Your Grace. Everyone knows what's happening in the Empire. I... I often forget about the world outside of the Imperial Court. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I think I can agree with that, yes. Then you have lifted a terrible burden from my heart, Inquisitor. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear ru I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. 
I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I have seen a few signs to that effect. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspard's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Selene is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I won't stand by and let her die. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. 